part two of the Stingray build. I'm going to show you kind of the ins and outs and uh, some of the problems I came across and uh, I'll show you the final product here at the end. So uh, stick around. So I've been working on the guitar and I was putting the tuning pegs on when I first put the bass started, I put the bass together dry before I started finishing it. And let me tell you, the screws that the whole kit comes with are terrible. So just, just throw them away, do yourself a favor, go down to the hardware store and uh, upgrade the screws, get some stainless stuff. I'll show it in a little more, a little more detail. Let me get the camera down here and I'll, I'll show you what's going on. So I ran into a little bit of a problem. The hardware that comes with the kit, and I'm talking about the screws, are terrible. These little screws that hold the tuners on, I was putting in by hand with a little microscopic Phillips screwdriver and snapped one right off in the maple. So that was a big problem. So I went down to the hardware store and got these number six stainless that have a standard Phillips head on them compared to these little micro ones that just strip right out. And I did have to, I had to drill them out, had to drill the tuning pegs out. So I had to go through and I had to drill all these out. Piece of cake, this is just a hair bigger than the holes that they were. And what happened is when I was assembling this, when I dry fit it together, I snapped that screw off, the screw head right off. So the gap between these tuning pegs are is tighter than the rest because I had to shift it to get the screw in because I couldn't drill it out. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain. But I, I got them in. And uh, the bolts to hold the neck on are legit. These are good. I'm going to use these along with this. And that brings me to the bridge and the terrible screws that the bridge came with. Uh, I went ahead and upgraded those to stainless as well. And uh, here's one of the bridge screws and here's a, a stainless one. And you can see it's quite a bit more substantial. So uh, I feel like this is gonna work better. I'm not gonna have to drill this out. Even if I did, it wouldn't be a big problem. But these number six screws, they, they fit it just fine. So anyway, a uh, little word of advice. Don't use the hardware it comes with. Just, just throw it away. And go down and get yourself stainless stuff upgrade it drill the tuners out uh, it's going to work out a lot better for you uh, found an issue with this plate the way that it's routed out right here it doesn't allow for this screw to be uh would ha wouldn't have any bite in the, in the wood so what i'm doing is uh, i'm just gluing a little piece of wood in here and the screw will have something to bite onto and it clears I already tried I just got this little rubber piece jammed in there to hold it so here it is get a little closer here turned out pretty nice see the grain and I sanded the neck you can see how I lightly sanded through the stain so you can see the wood grain is pretty cool so these are the screws I replaced these ones in the bridge. I ended up using the stock screws for the control plate. I ended up using the stock screws for the pick guard and uh, for the humbucker. And I used the stock screw for the whatever this string thing is. And of course, these are the ones that I replaced. I 
I used <clears throat> this blue dye for the front of the headstock and for the back of the headstock. And then uh, this black, use that for the body and the neck and just regular old true oil, uh, gunstock oil. Works really good. The base did come with its own set of strings. Which I uh, basically used them when I, I, I dry fit everything, put it all together before I finished it. Made sure the bridge was centered on the neck. I used uh, two of the strings. And I also used uh, just some string and uh, I think I used uh, some paracord and that worked really well too. Also, I uh, refit it with some uh, good strings, uh, Ernie Ball, regular slinkies. I also run uh, regular slinkies on my electric guitars and uh, polish it up with a little bit of this Dunlop guitar polish. And uh, I haven't done it yet, but uh, I, I picked up some uh, some fretboard oil. I think this was, yeah, it's five bucks. I've used it on my other guitars. I've uh, I fixed up a flying V for my cousin. It was really dry. It took a couple coats, but uh, it looks real nice. Anyways, uh, thanks for sticking around. And uh, this is it. So. I'll leave you with a little bit of playing and uh, we can hear what it sounds like.